Welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see how to convert Sahar's notation to Fisher's notation. So, in a Sahar's notation, we all know that uh, we write as uh, two Y's which are connected by a straight line. We can also write this notation uh, in a different way, something like this. An inverted set of Y's can be drawn. Or an alternated staggered notation can also be drawn. So these are the various ways by which a Sahar's notation can be re represented. And uh, when you see a Sahar's notation, uh, you know, we all know that they are popularly used to understand stereochemistry and also understand uh, reactions uh, in chemistry. Uh, but now what we are looking at is how to convert a Sahar's notation to a Fisher's notation. So always remember in case of Sahar's notation there are different ways in which the Sahar's notation can be written. But the way in which it should be converted is this. Okay, Whichever form of notation you see whether it is an inverted Y or uh, both inverted Y's or alternate inverted Y's. The notation should be converted in such a way that the atoms that are attached to the chiral carbon atoms are in the shape of a Y. So there could be a confusion as to what do I do when I'm going to convert or when I'm going to have a structures like these two. So it's very simple. Converting these structures into a double Y is very easy. So let us say, for example, uh, this structure A and this is structure B. Uh, let me say this is uh, this in structure A both are inverted Y. Always remember when you are supposed to convert it in one, from one form to another you will have to just transpose the structures. So uh, let me say a group which is here. Okay. I will uh, use some other notation. I will use some groups so that it will be easy for us to understand. So I am having hydrogen, I am having chlorine, Roman, here it is fluorine, OH and CH3. So we are having different groups to the carbon. So if we have to convert it into a double Y shape, so it's very simple and easy. What we have to remember is just to transpose the groups in the sense whatever is here will go to the opposite direction. So everything will go to their respective opposite directions. That is all. So this structure, when you would want to write it, it will become an equivalent structure, which is a Y. In both cases, I want it as Y. So H, which is on top, will come down here. Roman will come this side, Noren on the other side. Similarly, the carbon which is at the back, the same kind of transpose is considered. So CH3 will come down, fluorine will be here and sorry, OH will come down. Here it is OH which is on top. So OH will come down and then CH3 will come here. So this, these two structures are equivalent. This is how we have to convert an inverted Y into a Y form. Only when you convert the Sahars into Y form, you can convert it into a Fisher's notation. So now that you have converted this structure into a Fisher's notation, I will put the groups here. So I will put chlorine, hydrogen, bromine, and then OH, fluorine, and CH3. So these are the groups that are there. So when you look at a Sahas notation, I have put a box here. This box is to indicate the group that is here. So in the sense, when you consider two groups, the group which is in front is on your left hand side. And the group which is at the back is on the right hand side. It's like left and right. So the left will go down, the right will be on top. 
So you see what you see in front of you is down. What is behind you will go on top. And in the same way, the groups which are at the bottom, okay, the groups which are at the bottom will be the groups that will go here. Okay, so you see here, hydrogen will go here and OH will go here. And as usual, you have the groups on the right and you have the groups on the left. This is right, this is left. They will also go into the right and left direction. So we have fluorine and chlorine on the right and then we will have bromine and methyl group on the left. That is all. Very simple. So when you have to convert a Sofa's notation to Fisher's notation, what you have to look for? Look for that it is in a Y structure. So when it is in the Y structure, it is easy to convert it into Fisher. So when it is in the Y form, the front or the what is on the left goes at the bottom. What is on the right goes on top. And the groups which are the base of the Y will be the groups that are projecting up and down. And the groups on the right will go to the right. The groups on the left will go to the left. That is all. And how do I convert an inverted Y or a staggered uh, conformer of Sahar's notation, it is just transposing the groups and writing them in the Y form and then converting them to Fisher. Hope you understood. Thank you.